and said, I say that there's a problem. And Johnny Deaton praises Ripple for girlfriend and challenges and suggests Ripple's CEO, Brad Garley House, could be the CEO of the decade. According Ripple has seen multiple partial wins uh, against the SEC, including clearance of CDO Garlinghouse and Chairman Larson from accusations. A major trial between Ripple and the SEC is set for next April with potential wide-reaching crypto industry implications. And Johnny Deaton, a prominent American attorney standing behind thousands of XRP investors in the lawsuit against the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, praised Ripple for what they have accomplished in the past three years. Um, he argued that the company managed to glow its business during an extended, brutal bear market and under the dark cloud of enforcement action coming from the regulator. Uh, he also reminded about the dismissal spree that numerous cryptocurrency companies launched over the past few years in an attempt to overcome the negative market conditions. Um, contrary to that, uh, Deaton claimed that Ripple was uh, hiring staff and expanding its operations uh, and accomplish all of this while being unfairly targeted by a few biased, conflicted, and compromised individuals. And subsequently, the lawyer highlighted Ripple's success in the lawsuit against the U.S. SEC and praised the company's chief executive officer, Brad Garlinghouse, for playing a main role in all achievements. He further suggested the boss must be on the short list for CEO of the decade if the organization files for initial public offering in the next three years. Uh, speaking of uh, Ripple and the U.S. SEC, uh, it is worth touching upon the latest developments and the legal process between the two entities. Uh, Peter, The blockchain enterprise won a major partial win in mid-July when a federal judge ruled that the company's programmatic XRP sales from years ago did not violate securities laws. The native token of Ribble reacted more than positively, spiking to as high as 40 cents and 85 cents per coin deco minutes after the news broke out. And the firm secured two more victories in the following months after the U.S. magistrates dismissed the SEC's intention to appeal the initial ruling. And when CEO Brad Garlinghouse and Muster, Executive Chairman Chris Larson, were cleared of all charges. Uh, the two entities are scheduled to meet each other in a grand trial in April next year. Uh, the outcome of the process is expected to resonate in the entire cryptocurrency space and is highly anticipated by the community.